Hey guys, I don't know if you've been watching the Olympics. I haven't because it doesn't make much sense, right? When you have Africans that represent England and Africans that represent France, really, what's the point at that point? I, I don't really see the point of the Olympics anymore. It used to be about national groups of people competing against each other, eh, but whatever. It's kind of lost it because of globalism. But they had their globalist uh, Olympics opening ceremony and... <laughs> yes, you probably heard about it. it. It featured some homosexuals and I think trans people. There's this one woman with a beard, half naked, shaking his or hers ass. I don't know the pronouns. I want to be correct. And then it finished with a mockery of the Last Supper, the Eucharist of, of, of Jesus Christ. And... Um, it created a big issue online. And it's always sort of interesting how these things go down because the initial reaction when people say, hey, wait a minute, you're mocking our religion is, am I? Well, you little bigots, you have to understand we're in a tolerant world now. There, LGBT people exist. And what, does it trigger you? <laughs> well, this is France. We're about being edgy, man. We're artists. This is just how we are. You guys are so stupid. Right, that, that, that's, that's the way it is when they deal with Christians. Now, like, let's say in some hypothetical scenario, a country should do an opening ceremony where they're making fun of the Holocaust. Oh, no, this is hate. Shut it down, shut it down. Arrest the people, arrest the people. We can't tolerate this. So yeah, there's a different standard there. Oh, and don't even get me if they <laughs> if they did a scene mocking Muhammad and Islam. They'd be riding, riding in the streets of France. The art director would be beheaded. I guarantee you that would, is what happened. We know that because this already happened in France before. So obviously there's a different standard. But it's interesting the progression this happened because obviously this uh, you can see what the uh, the imagery was representing, what they were mocking. They were mocking Jesus Christ and uh, inverting it, which is technically Satanism. And immediately, the day after, it was such a disaster that the Olympic Committee, they were taking everything down that showed it, doing copyright violations, DMCA in any video of it. Uh, they were trying to act like this never happened. And then they were trying to retcon it. And like, oh, no, no, no. You're just stupid bigot Christians. This had nothing to do with Christianity. Uh, it had to do with a, a Greek, a Greek story. Yeah, that's what it was. You're just too stupid to understand it. Unlike us cosmopolitan, sophisticated people that run around half naked, dressed in blue. You just don't understand uh, the sophistication nature of this. Uh, that, that was their official line. But it was like all leftist it was retconning and, and we have the receipts here we have the receipts here uh first of all this lady here uh she's I, you could say she's not christian uh she's part of i, I don't know, god's all-star community let's just put it that way right so and here she's in the role of what looks to be jesus and if you can see this you know jesus's last supper and here she is very very similar if you take a look at that and then if you look down here below, she responded, oh, yes, oh, yes, the New Gay Testament. So uh, basically taking the New Testament, which is salvation through Jesus Christ, and inverting it to homosexuality. And we see that right here. So sh she, by her own words, is disputing the notion, oh, had nothing to do with Christianity. And we have the initial response by the art director, and again, he was, I believe, a homosexual and again, of a, a special tribe that doesn't like Christianity. And this was his response. And if you don't read French, he responded, this is what it translates into English. I see people getting indignant about this passage. I would like to know if they were also indignant when, and then he shows uh jesus's last supper nintendo did a uh you know like a parody of it too 
So his point was, why are they getting mad at me? Because I did this uh, drag queen interpretation of uh, the, the Jesus' Last Supper. Nintendo did, they did an interpretation of it too. So why are you mad at me? So, I mean, obviously he's implying that was the whole purpose of it. But now they're trying to retcon it. No, 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 it had nothing to do with that, you stupid ignorant hillbilly bigots uh you just need to understand no no this is just above you that is the official way they're going now <laughs> this it kind of brings a bigger point of why are they doing this why do they decide to mock christianity and part of it i think if if you get down to it is I, i'm a christian i believe it's because it's true <laughs> it, nothing no other religion triggers them as much as the truth because as jesus said that they live in darkness and they hate the light and the light triggers them it scares them they understand their ways are evil and when i say they're satanic i don't mean like some guy with red skin with horns and you know pitchfork that's stupid Sa satanism is just an inversion of god uh for their symbol like an upside down cross represents that but if you think about that uh it, in it's just the opposite so a man and a woman no 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 a man that pretends to be a woman is a woman see it's, it's an inversion or uh, sex is in the godly sense is between the man and a woman it creates life in their their view you have a couple of people do it uh the same sex and it creates other issues and this is not life and uh, again the god is sex is for uh, creating children and on the left their highest sacrament is abortion this is why you see the democrats that these love abortion so much and uh, christianity is about the hierarchy god man woman child and the left they like to invert it the child's on top then woman the man on the bottom and well god on the bottom and against uh, the culture of death that the uh, the left holds with euthanasia and they they celebrate this whereas christianity is about life this is all what it is this is how the attack is is happens this is the focus of it and so they mock christianity because it is true and they're angry at god and this is what we see here in the opening ceremony of the Olympics. And there's, I get it, there's some other issues too, besides the religious uh, aspect of it. One is just, you know, you could just say they're cowards. They they wouldn't mock Islam because they don't want to get beheaded. So they're not going to do that. And they also see this as somewhat anti-white because Christianity, uh, it really influenced Europe. And, it, and so they see it that way as an anti-white thing to do. I mean, they want to attack, for example, Judaism or or Hinduism or religion like that at the Olympics. So it's very deliberate how they set these things up. But it's interesting how they're trying to retcon it now that you're just too stupid to understand the significance of this art. Uh, yeah, it's typical. Uh, but this is what they do. They elevate ugliness. For example, if you go into modern art by these people, you don't see a beautiful painting. You will see a literal pile of shit. This is what they elevate because this represents this, their spirit. They can't see beauty. They can't create beauty. They can just tear down. They just exist in ugliness, in obesity, in sexual perversion, in disease, and in death. This is what they worship. Talk to you guys later.